Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EOS Market Biz and in this video I am going to share to you the updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. So without further ado, let's go to the um, website. So this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year. Okay, so you can also pay using um, cryptocurrency. Um, for subscribing here at this website so just click coinbase or the, the coinbase logo here and also uh, if you want to pay fiat you can click paypal right so let's go to the newsletter so here's the newsletter um, um, the, the subscribers received um, some hours ago so there's uh, here's the headlines uh, right so I'm going to discuss each headlines Okay, so let's open it so that it will save us time. Okay, so NEM price climbs to nine week high as CoinCheck brings back trading. It's a new economy movement or NEM hit a nine week price high on Monday despite a neutrally toned cryptocurrency market. The market development coincided with a more than three month high in 24 hour trading trading volume the same day um, according to the data collected by coindesk the world's 17th largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization rose to 0 0.114 cents at 915 utc its highest price since september 5 while accumulating more than 4 to 5.6 million dollars in 24 hour trading volume the latter figure represents the most volume since July 29 according to coin market cap. Okay. So this is very good news for NEM holders. Right? So it's worth noting that NEM's price jumped to a peak of 25% and amid news the trading of the token is being re-enabled on Tokyo-based cryptocurrency exchange CoinCheck for the first time since 500 million NEM tokens were stolen from CoinCheck's digital wallets on January 26, 2018. The price of NEM began to spike at approximately 8.15 UTC, roughly 45 minutes before CoinCheck posted a public announcement regarding their re-enabled trading at 9.1 UTC. So NEM was last seen at an average price across exchanges of 0. 107 cents at more than 16 percent on the day so uh, you can see here the spike of on them okay so let's continue to read further all right so further nems capitalization reached 1.2 billion earlier today its highest value since september 5th other major cryptocurrencies are Printing modest gains with seven of the ten largest by market capitalization, reporting positive 24 hour price developments. Names like Monero and XRP, Ripple XRP, are currently up over 3%, while the world's largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, is up just 0.41% on a 24 hour basis. Okay, the total capitalization of the cryptocurrency market now stands at $213.4 billion. Okay, so this is NEM, and this is very good news for NEM, um, since CoinCheck is bringing um, NEM back at their trading since the happening last January uh, 2018, where 500 million NEM tokens were stolen. Okay, so NEM, so that is the main story of the day, so let's continue. So Accenture puts software license management on the blockchain platform. Global professional services giant Accenture has rolled out a new software license management application built with tech from distributed ledger startup Digital Asset. Accenture announced in a press release Monday that the blockchain-based application uses Digital Asset's smart contract language, DAML, 
and is aimed to simplify how its software licenses are tracked. Okay. So an Accenture representative told Coindesk that the product is one of the first blockchain solutions built by Accenture and the first to go into production within the Accenture operation groups. With the company managing a large portfolio of software licenses across different businesses and clients internationally, it had developed the need for a technology to support policies and procedures, said Melanie Cutlin, Accenture's senior principal and lead for blockchain's operations in the release. While software asset tracking and management tools have evolved, it can still be a daunting task for any large organization to manage. She added, the new blockchain-based application is expected to help Accenture improve the management life cycle for its software assets, as well as simplifying tracking and auditing the release states. Cutlan explained, the power of DLT will simplify the traceability of these licenses and therefore the auditing function, so all can see where each license is assigned. This has the potential to save organizations millions of dollars per year in the management of their software portfolios. Okay, so let's read further. So the new application, which Accenture said is patent pending, will effectively allow organizations to reduce the risk of using unlicensed software or failing to comply with license use terms. It is also expected to ensure better transparency regarding the distribution and utilization of licenses according to their release. This new software asset management application shows that DAML and DLT can deliver significant operational efficiencies to use cases beyond financial services, according to Chris Church, Chief Business Development Officer at Digital Asset. Okay, so that is the second um, main story of the day. Um, the last update or the last uh, new ha news headlines for today is Commodities Firms Complete Blockchain Pilot for Black Sea Wheat Swiss-based Transol International and Solaris Commodities have conducted a blockchain pilot transactions of Black Sea, Black sea Wheat S&P Global reports November 12 Both companies are involved in the trading of international agricultural commodities like milling wheat, vegetable oil and flour the two firms completed the pilot using blockchain-based agri-commodities trading and financing platform of Swiss startup Surrealia. Okay. So an independent auditor has reviewed all the important details of the trade from the blockchain and validated the smart contract digital signatures. Signed document and timestamps. The auditor has also confirmed the data has been encrypted, that no other data has been stored, and that all data is up to date. The agricultural and food products sector has been gradually embracing blockchain around the world. As Cointelegraph previously reported, the world's four largest agriculture companies, commonly known as ABCD, partnered to digitize international grain trading by using blockchain and artificial intelligence AI technologies. Blockchain and AI will be initially used to automate grain and oilseed post-trade execution processes, which are highly manual and costly part of the supply chain. Okay, so let's read further. In September, a U.S. National Milk Marketing Cooperative, Dairy Farmers of America, or DFA, teamed up with food fintech startup Ripe.io to pilot a blockchain-powered project also aimed at improving the food supply, food supply chain. DFA reportedly intends to assess the technology and implore how the organization can benefit from its use. Also in September, Albert Hygen, Holland's largest supermarket chain, um, revealed it is using blockchain to make the production chain of its orange juice more transparent. The system will reportedly store data that reveals the quality and sustainability ratings held by various produce growers as well as information about the fruits 
themselves right so those are the three um, headlines or the three updates on regarding the news on the newsletter that we're going to receive so you can um, receive this kind of news once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news alright so also found here are the links or this one are the invitation group to the invitation to the telegram group also you can also find the invitation this one here so this one and this one are also the same and this one is uh, the links where you can monitor your ears transactions in an account okay and also um, also found here uh, in the newsletter are Don the Guru's um, top coins for today or that are coins that are showing the best news according to his research so these are ELF, Komodo NEM, or New Economy Movement, Ripple XRP, Zcash, Bitcoin, EOS, Teller, Davcoin, and BitPay. Okay, so you can also access this spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is called the Guru's Research List. So as you can see here, that the red have negative news, the orange are neutral, the yellow are fair, the green have good news, um, and the blue are showing the best news. So the best one that you're going to include in your research list are the blue ones here in the newsletter or in the spreadsheet that is included in the newsletter so as you can see Bitcoin is one of them and ZRX so there's a lot of it also here so and beside that are technical analysis like the 50 day uh, candle SMA movement 24 hours volume versus price the 7 days weekly volume versus price the 30 days monthly volume versus price okay and then the technical indicators so these are very very uh, useful um, information in regards to trading so if I were you I would subscribe and check out these newsletter so aside from that there are also other useful things like this one so you can also uh, join the affiliate program to earn cryptocurrencies each month for seven levels deep all right so Um, this is the newsletter and also if you have time you can visit this website usemarket.biz so that link also is preferredcurrency.news is also included at usemarket.biz so this smart website is where you can find the links um, where you can where, where this website can serve as your guide on how you can buy sell and rent using EOS okay so Preferredcurrency.news is also here in every market. So this is a travel website where you can um, exchange your cryptocurrency for airfare. The um, two marketplace websites or e-commerce website where you can buy and sell using cryptocurrencies, and also PCN.today. So it's, it's a news website. And also there are also other useful links here. So please check this one, usemarket.biz, and also the affiliate program is also here. And also okay so the contact information right so is market.biz and please check this out okay so that is the updates of the newsletter today and i think that's it guys so before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself all right so this has been vic once again and uh, see you on the next video this bye bye